Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my quick tutorial on how to make a sub bass in Logic Pro with the ES2 synthesizer. The sub bass we make in this tutorial can be used in all genres of EDM. Because we're going to be dealing with sub bass, be sure to listen with headphones or speakers that can produce low frequencies. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new MIDI track and we're going to pick our ES2 synth. The next thing we're going to do is go in to the ES2 and click on factory default and go down to tutorial settings, go to analog saw initial. And what we're going to do next is we are going to turn this square wave down to the sine wave. You could do here or here, either, either way. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is open up oscillator 2 and also go down to the sine wave. And we're going to pitch this up uh, 12 semitones. The reason we're going to do this is so our sub bass has a little bit of tone, an octave above our fundamental frequency. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, knob and move it down to 90 and 9% right here. Uh, so most of our tone is going to come from our lower note, but then uh, a little bit will come from the octave above right here. The next thing I'm going to do is go and change this to a legato instrument, and we only need one voice. And I'm going to open up the musical typing by hitting Command K to uh, show what this sounds like right now. So here's what it sounds like. And this is almost all done, but we do hear a clicking noise. And there's two ways to get rid of that. One of them would be to turn the attack to be slower. Um, the only reason I recommend not doing that is because then your sub bass is a little bit behind whatever instrument you're putting it under. Uh, so my recommendation would be to uh, cut off all the high frequencies with an equalizer. So I'm going to close out of the ES2 right now. And then I'm going to open the EQ. And this is our note right now. I'm hitting the F sharp note. And those frequencies right here, that is that clicking noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, low pass filter or high cut filter on. And I'm going to make it 48 decibels per octave. Move this all the way down to about uh, 120 hertz. And now this is our note. And we hear that there's no clicking noise right now. And that's about it for the sub bass. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is if you don't want this higher frequency uh, on and you just want the pure sine wave, that's totally fine. A lot of people do that. I just like having this on, um, especially because if you're listening on worse speakers, you're able to hear some elements of the sub bass. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the sub bass uh, in context. First, I'm going to play it by itself, and then I'm going to play it with the rest of the track. I'm going to open up my MIDI region right here. And when you're drawing your MIDI notes with for the sub, I recommend putting a little, little bit of space in between um, just so you can hear the difference between different notes uh, so it just doesn't sound like one note. So here is my uh, bass line right now. And now I'm going to play this sub bass in the context of a track. The last thing I'm going to show you to do is how to save this as a preset so you don't have to make this every single time in your project. So we're going to go to our sub, sub bass. I'm going to call it sub bass tutorial. And now right here where it says setting, I'm going to click on that and then go to save channel strip setting as. And then I'm going to call it sub base tutorial and then save. And now 
if I look at my user channel, user channel strip settings, I can go down and then sub base tutorial is one of them. Now you can see I already had a sub base uh, made and these are going to be pretty darn identical. One last thing I want to mention is that all the drums that I used in this demo track were uh, made using only Logic Pro stock plugins and they are available for a free download in the video description below. Um, but other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, or DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Thank you.